Hey, what's going on, guys? It's a Fetter bringing you guys another video, and today we're going to be watching the Lars Alexanderson gameplay trailer. And I didn't get to react to it yesterday. Yesterday was just a terrible day, so I said we just start fresh in the morning, right? And today is that day, and I am finally excited to watch this, man. I've seen snippets of gameplay, haven't watched it too much, so I didn't really want to spoil it for myself, but I did hear that the rage art was actually fucking insane, and that it was from Naruto, which is great because I used to play Naruto, Alternate Storm 2. Y'all know about that, right? Y'all know nothing about that. I, I was a god at that game. But Lars was in it. He was also a really cool character who was introduced into the game before Tekken 6. And we have him here in Tekken 8. So let's see what he has here. I'm very excited to see. Um, th I think this character can be cool. Um, he's just a really animated-ass character. <laughs> just very anime. Like, not too bad of a character, though. I, I, I just don't like the hair. <laughs> but he is an anime character, so why not? Alright. The Lion of the Rebellion. Rebellion has two L's, I saw that. But it's okay. You get a bypass for now. Alright, what we got? Ooh, the electric slide! Let's go! I, I love that, that's sick. Okay, wall sitting 2 1. Okay, original grab from Tekken 7. Wow, he's getting stuff out of stance that. Okay, orbital. What is that float? That's sick. Nice. Alright, breaking the wall. Original carry. Nice. 4 4 1 plus 2 still does his original stuff. Nice. Heat smash. That might 2 3? Nice. Ooh, the dive kick. Let's go. Fire. Okay. Dynamic 1 2. Heat Engager. Okay. Dynamic 2. Rage Art. This is what I'm talking about. Here we go. Here we go. Fucking Shidori, dude. Oh my god. That's sick. Tornado. Wow. Dude, that's sick. Dude, Lars is sick. What the hell? Dude. Okay. 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 Alright. 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 Let's calm down. Let's calm down. I'm trying to keep my cool. Because that was sick. Okay. We know how sick that was. Alright, that was very, very fucking sick. Alright, let's just break it down. Let's break it down. Let's break it down, because that was sick. Alright, there's a lot on the screen, but we are going to break it down. As best as possible. <laughs> Alright, slowly. Let's try to break this down. Okay, so, wall standing 2, right? So, usually the extension is wall standing 2-1, and that also is a counter hit launcher, and just a plus frame move in Tekken 7. But now he's doing wall standing 2-3 into a, his stance. And... He's getting a mix off of this, and that he gets that low move there, which is looks new to me. I, I don't think I've seen that in Tekken 7. If he has it, I don't see too many large players, so he probably does have it, probably doesn't. But it looks new to me. Uh, and he gets that low, and now that grabs from Tekken 7. We've already seen that before. I don't know what this shit is. Okay, so it's looking like forward, 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 two into his stance. And he gets his original 1-3, or 1-down-3, right? Which is a really great round in Tekken 7. And he's getting it right here out of this, that stance alone. Like, no extension, no nothing. Just pure fucking low out of that stance. And then back 4, because it's plus. I don't know what that float is. Like, at all. The orbital, it looks like a jab into, like, back 2 or something like that. And it floats really well for him to get this. Which is, um, I, I actually don't know what, <laughs> if he has that Tekken 7 at all. <laughs> but it, it, everything looks new. Then I enter 2 into, and I just, is that like, wow. He's just allowed to do that, that's insane. Alright. I guess he has the original wall carry. That's, in, that's insane. War Hole 1 plus 2 still does his original screw. Heat Smash, completely new. Dynamic 2 3. As uh, the bound. Tilt to war bound. I'm going to start calling that. So he gets a stomp out of stance now as well. And it's super plus and it does it. Oh my god. For a heat engager. That's insane. And he has a dive kick and a dynamic engine 3. What the hell? Plus move. I don't know what that is. Dynamic engine 1, 2. And heat engager. Don't know what that bound is. Completely new. And then his dynamic engine 2 again into the rage art that, that's a lot he has a lot of new stuff 
So it's a lot of original moves that he has, and they're just coming out of stance now. He he looks great. He looks great, dude. Lars looks insane. This game is looking to be promising. I'm not gonna lie to you. King looks promising as me to me at least. Uh, fucking Nina, Kazuki and Jin. Wow. This game's about to be. F I cannot wait until Evil Japan to watch if they stream it. I hope they stream the gameplay. I really hope they do, cause this is insane. So I'm thinking that Jack is gonna be either uh, Friday or maybe later on. I'm not sure. I'm thinking Friday, or it could be Alyssa, cause they're a dynamic group, right? So who knows? But other than that, Lars looks great, and I'm excited for this game. Tekken 8's looking great, and they're really promoting it a lot, and they're doing it right right now. So. You know, great job to Ben Dynamico. They're doing their thing right now. So, uh, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, please go through them. Uh, the latest video will be in the description below. It, it will be the King video uh, of his trailer and his gameplay. Uh, and if you haven't seen any other trailer, any other trailers, uh, definitely go through my uh, videos and take a look at them and enjoy them. Uh, we'll be here probably Friday once again, and hopefully it's Jack or Alyssa or June. Who knows who it is? But I'm thinking it's I'm thinking it's Jack. I'm gonna go with Jack. So that's my prediction. It's gonna be Jack. So I will see you guys in that video, hopefully on Friday. See you guys later. Peace out.